All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome to World of Diving. My name is John, and it's been a while since I've done any Oculus games, simply because, to be quite honest, there aren't that many games on the marketplace. And when I find something interesting, that's when I want to play it. So this is like a underwater simulation published and developed by Vertigo Games. And before we actually start, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this and let me know if you guys are. Um, as you guys can see on the screen, this is an early access. So that essentially means it's not done, but I really just wanted to see the simulation and whenever the full game comes out, there's a chance I could come back and take a quick look at what's been updated. So with that said, uh, once I put on the headset, you guys are going to see what I see. Um, and yeah, so let's get started in a second. So bear with me as I get everything set up. One second. So, disclaimer, welcome to the world of diving. Please note that this is a work in progress and feedback and let's continue. So, main menu, let's take a quick look at the options. Quality level, minimum, low, medium, high, ultra. Plan on ultra. Visibility, I mean, I would like to see everything, yeah. And fish density, put it on medium. Anti-aliasing and post-processing, sure, why not? And we'll keep those. So with that said, uh, hopefully we can take a quick look at everything that's currently in there. Apparently there's multiplayer and there's lock stuff. I assume that's for a little bit later. So we're just gonna play the main part of it and hopefully you guys are enjoying it. But before we start, let me just see if I'm actually looking at the screen. So, yeah, I think we're good. Sorry if it might be a little bit out of sync. As in, like, when I look there, I kind of just... I don't know. Let me just check. Okay, we're good. Anyway, let's get started. And I'll try to explain the immersion and what's going on throughout the event. So, let's start it up with the first section. And we'll be playing this single player. All right, so as you guys are watching the gameplay, I figured I would tell you a little bit more about the game and do some post commentary stuff, just so you guys can get a idea of what it's all about. And it's actually pretty tough talking and playing, especially while you're immersed in it, while doing it live. So yeah, let's start off with what it is and what should you expect and some of my opinions. So. This game is a diving simulation game. Do activities and whatnot while you're underwater. It's actually pretty cool. The graphics look pretty nice. The FPS was pretty solid overall. Uh, apparently they had a patch, so all levels are running around the solid 90 FPS, which is fantastic. And this game is available for the Oculus and the Vive. It's also on Steam, so even if you don't have it, I think you can play a standard version where it's not necessarily required but it's better to have it just to have the immersion part of it so um, it's in early access right now and that means they're still like making new levels and whatnot pretty neat so there are some other cool features in this game that I thought were pretty cool like you can create your underwater missions and new levels, essentially like a level editor where you just do whatever you want. And one thing that kind of surprised me was that there was multiplayer in this game. And usually if you're doing VR games, you're mostly immersed in it and just playing solo. But the fact that you can play with up to 16 friends is pretty neat. So I have to try that eventually and there are like other arcade challenges that are probably going to be implemented a little later so as for the other things you should get included is character customization as in you can upgrade your gear and the ships and pretty much all the equipment to make everything more unique so yeah that's some of the cool stuff i thought were interesting but yeah i'll let you watch the rest of it in peace with no commentary and if you guys are enjoying it feel free to let me know leave it in the comments i can always do some more but uh this is in early access now so when the game comes out into full release there's probably going to be more content and whatnot so i might come back to check it out but overall i had a really fun time with it and it is also on steam 
It's like 20 bucks and you don't need a headset. But if you do have a headset, it works for the Vive and the Oculus. You could use a keyboard and mouse or a controller or one of those track motion controllers. I think that one is for the Vive. But um, either way, it's pretty neat. You could do this sitting or standing or like a room scale, which is the unique part of VR. So yeah, that was pretty cool. And I enjoyed this game. So that said, have a fantastic day and let me know what you thought of it.